the record, I don't like the sounds that this game is making in my ears. It's a constant buzzing, and it's quite unpleasant. That said, hello everyone, this is Haruka, and I'm playing yet another horror game. This is called Assessment Examination, and it's inspired by something called the Mandela Catalog, which I have no idea what that is. But, it should be a rather interesting experience, considering I did play a horror game some time ago. So, let's see what this is all about. Oh. Assessment examination. Very well. Let us begin. The examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us of course. are very happy to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real-life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Of Please course. Please take a sit and await further instructions. I've been sitting this entire time, dear. How did you hear about this position? Word of mouth, newspapers, or a dream? Well, if we're talking reality, I downloaded it off of itch.io. So word of mouth. My! Do you have any personal experience in this area? Hmm... Yes. Ah! Do you have any personal experience in this area? I just answered yes. My. Oh. Do you believe in God? Hmm. That's a hard one. If I were to talk about my own universe, then our God is a Yoma slaying deity. So, I suppose. Do you fear death? Honestly, who wouldn't? So, yes, I do. My! Do you fear God? Again, you're my slaying deity, so... If we're talking personal experience, and Kagura does indeed frighten me. Do you have people you love in your life? Of course! I have a loving boyfriend, an amazing roommate, and several other people. So yes, of course. Do you fear losing them? It puts the fear of God in me. What's this third answer? In a yes. moment, we will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Very well. Your eyes look rather weird, so... Threat! Is that just a heavily photoshopped image of a grandmother? I wouldn't trust someone with a shifty face, so... Threat. Well, your face looks relatively normal, so... Trust. Hmm. This face looks rather like Duke Nukem, so... I wouldn't trust anyone like that. Huh? I don't understand. Well, he looks relatively normal, so... Trust. Dear, your eyes are a little too... 
bulbous for my tastes. I'm going to need you to back away from my screen, please. Threat. Hmm. I'm torn. Trust. You have no eyes, sir. And quite frank frankly, you remind me of the Slender Man, so... Threat. Huh? I don't... I don't understand. Well, you have a rather shifty smile about you, sir. And your beard is rather scraggly, so... Threat. Trust? Again, trust. There's nothing really wrong with these people, per se. Huh? Police department, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi. I'm at Dore Park. At a gas station, actually. In the corner of Dore Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just... He's outside and the door's locked, so I can't tell. He's asking for help, though, so... I don't know if you can hear, but... He's asking me to help him. Okay. I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But, and this is going to sound crazy to you, just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His, his face, you know. He had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. Fuck. I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid. Like, real off. You're going to let this kid bleed out just because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He's not dying, I don't think. He just didn't look right is all. Kid looked like he just died himself. But he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost. Or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit. But you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. I'm going to have to remind myself to edit out my swear words because a refined lady like myself does not swear. Officer? He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight and not because he drank one too many cheap beers. Is he still there? How does he look? Um, yeah, I don't know. He's... it's... I'm... I'm, like, crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It's f***ing creepy. Hmm. Okay. Well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. Oh, f*** that. No f***ing way. No. You didn't see that little f***er. He's not normal. You know refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Is... is that what that is? Of course. Fuck. Okay. I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. All right. Ave Maria Santisma. I apologize. I don't speak Spanish. Oh! Uh, threat, obviously. Okay, now he looks normal. Pardon? Excellent. 
You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What now? And while you're out here, why not come over to Dore Park? Admire the tall and beautiful trees all around, or watch as some of our little ones grow. Bring the kids along, they'll have a fantastic time in our new play area. There is truly no better place to make beautiful memories. Dore Park, one of the county's most lovely locations. Rather unnerved right now. I can see his pain. I see it from my window. See it every night. I can hear his steps. I hear them from my window. Hear them every night. Father of many. His tears taste of sacrifice. His steps carry guilt. Why haunt this one park? Why torment my dreams nightly? Does he fear nightmares? I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I can see it's fake. I won't sleep tonight. Won't listen to the man's steps. Or I will be next. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Very good. Created by Jerry Beccaro. Well done! You have successfully unnerved me. And it takes a while to do that, to be quite honest. That was quite the experience. But is there more to this, I wonder? With that all said, if you find folks would like to play this game for yourself... You I'm sorry, did the game just speak to me? I think I'd rather end this now, to be honest. Enough of your nonsense, game. I'm done with you. With that all said, if you find folks enjoyed this game, I will leave a link in the description below if you would like to play it for yourself. And if there's more to this game that I missed, please let me know and I'll try to revisit it later. With that all said, though, if you find folks enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment to let me know, and I will see you folks in the next video. Farewell, my lovely subjects.